Governor Bashir has gone through a second round of signing or vetoing a number of newly passed bills. Some he signed deals with pension and a bill aimed at curbing child abuse, but he vetoed several others. Phil Pendleton explains why the governor called one of those bills cruel. Governor Andy Bashir says that one bill will go so far to protect public pensions that might actually keep child advocacy centers and domestic violence shelters open and operating. The result in is what is known as the contribution death spiral. With contribution rates rising, the governor says there's been more layoffs and outsourcing hurting healthy retirements. And he says this really impacted a lot of agencies. And this bill gives more time for these agencies to pay their pension obligation, which in turn means more services are available to help our children right now. The governor also announced the signing of several bills aimed at curbing child sexual abuse, such as more defined background checks for workers at youth camps and more penalties for viewing child pornographic images. These measures will ensure that survivors can seek accountability for their perpetrators. But the governor also says the legislature did some harm in other bills, and one of those is House Bill 312. I'm vetoing House Bill 312 because it defeats the entire purpose of the Kentucky Open Records Act, which exists to ensure people's right to know how their government operates. Governor Bashir also says he is vetoing House Bill 475 because he says it'll weaken the occupational health and safety as well as Senate Bill 65, which he says will make it a lot harder for some parents to get food for their children. In Frankfurt, Phil Pendleton, now back to you.